Today I will be performing a tape job for the gamekeeper's thumb or the thumb spica. To begin, a uh, patient position is their hand in a neutral position between supination and pronation, and the thumb is just in a relaxed position, slightly extended backwards. You'll begin by placing an anchor around their wrist. You're not pulling too tight around here, just because it's just kind of laying there as the anchor. You don't have to do much tension since this isn't a wrist taping. And then you just follow your tape around, make sure it lays nice and flat. Get on any crinkles. And then you can take your one inch white tape. And I like to place two anchors just going from here that come up through the thumb. It just comes this way. Placing it on the anchor that you have on the wrist. And this tape is being a little bit difficult to rip right now. I was just talking about how this was nice. Place two of those overlapping by half. So going down here. This is how you can get some coverage onto the hand. And just slightly placing those down. They're kind of like second anchors in a way. And then what we're going to do is be doing a teardrop shape around the thumb. Make sure you're covering the MCP joint and the PIP. Um, so we want to begin over here and you're going to be crossing it across the joint. So you lay that down there. I come around this way. I'll rip it off here. And just placing with some slight tension, pulling their thumb down into flexion and for preventing the hyperextension. You go around with another one of these, overlapping by half again. again. I'll do one more, but you don't want to cross the DIP joint of the thumb. So I'll just overlap by half again. Stay below that DIP joint. You don't want to be laying these too tight so that they uh, cut off circulation. You can check cap refill to make sure it looks all good there, which it does. All right, and then just to kind of cover up loose ends, you'll be placing with the two inch white tape, some C strips around the thumb into the hand area. So it come up here. This is just to cover everything up. You can overlap these by half as you go down. I will cover up these loose ends by just placing the final one here on the wrist. You can pinch it as it comes into the thumb area. Come back around with your angle here and ending on the anchor. That just covers up all the loose ends. Then you can demonstrate that it is resisting hyperextension of the thumb and abduction, so it's holding him in a flexed and adducted position. And that's how it feels. Give him a thumbs up. Good job.